Hey gals and guys, it's Kristen Mojo from MyMeetHelper.com and today what we're going to do is... You ever have one of those days where just everything goes to poop? Shit. Well, I had one of those days. So not only did my phone stop charging, which I'm going to make a separate video on that, it seems the power supply in my personal... Um, let me get over here so you can see it. My personal desktop uh, crapped the bed, so... Oh, I brought it into the shop, so to speak. Let me get rid of this thing. Yeah, I'll show you. If, see if you can see what's going on here. So I will plug this in. It will turn green, but then it turns right off. So see how it's green there? And then it turns right off. So if you come over here, it's connected to power. There's nothing happening there. So that just clues me in, right? There's something going on with the um, with the power supply. Either it's a bad power supply, maybe it's a bad hookup. Uh, who knows? I left for the weekend um, to stay with my, my mom's um, for my birthday because she took us out to breakfast. And um, I came home yesterday, and um, this is what I came up against. So I'm going to unscrew these things in the back. This is a Dell. And let me get this over here so you can see a little better. What I got back here are two old um, desktops that are never used, and they're going to be recycled. So I'm going to see if I can grab a power supply out of one of these and hook it in to see if that corrects it. And if it does, although it's the power supply, I'll just order a new power supply online. All right, so if you want to get in, it's pretty easy um, with most dowels, right? Here's I've shown this on other videos before. I mean, these things are pretty easy to open. There's just a little button in the back. and just slide it right open. There's the power supply right there. So I'll probably use that. It looks like um, the same power supply. And then in this particular unit, and I'll put the unit in the in the description so you kind of kind of match it up, see if it's one, one year. They're pretty universal. So you just unscrew these things in the back. Give it a nice whack. You're not going to hurt anything. And then, um, and there we go. There's the power supply right there. So I'm going to make sure this is unplugged. And we're going to unscrew it from here. It's just a simple Phillips connection. Uh, I did another video about this kit. It's a very helpful kit um, that I bought off Amazon. Strabito, it looks like. It's got all these bits in here. So you can search out my video or I'll link down below to... Um, so you can uh, look at that kit and see what you get. Look at that kit and see what you get. All right, we're rhyming this morning. So I just have to find a um, Phillips. And actually, I got one over in that box over there. Uh -oh, let's see if this works for me. That's worked just fine. So you just unscrew in the power supply. Make sure you put your screws in a safe place. I'm going to put this here. And you can connect yourself for static. I mean, there's no static around here. But um, if you're on a carpet or something, it's always a good idea to do that. I'm not even sure if it has one here to show you. No. It, doesn't. it just basically grounds, grounds you so if there is a shock, it doesn't hurt your system. Um, I've never had a problem with that. So, it's unscrewed. Let's make sure there's no other screws going on here. Lip. Yeah. All right, so I was able to get that out of there. There's, so there's two lips here, um, and I'll be able to show them better to you once I get this out, but I just had to push down the lips on either side, and I just pulled this forward. And then, as you can see, it's so now there's these other things here. I'm not sure if you can see them, but they're holding all the wires. And all you got to do is flip there and flip there. And then just carefully um, get the wiring out of there. find where the connection is and get all the wires out of here and stuff. You're not really, I mean, don't be too brutal <laughs> to it, but you're really not going to hurt anything. So, like, don't be scared or anything that you're going 
put it anything. All right, get that out of there. Oh, we got another lip down here. Just gotta see if I can get out of there. I got this thing in here. Okay, so we got the wiring out so far. There's one other place that's. If I need to cut that or what the deal is. Alright, there we go. There we go. And this goes. You just kind of got to remember what you're doing. So these went in there. This didn't go in anywhere. I'm just kind of gonna follow through this. Just take these off. Power supply. This was never hooked into anything. These were hooked in there. Yeah, those were hooked in there. Okay. So there we go. There's the power supply out. Um, if you can see, there was a lip. Um, there's a lip here, and there was a lip right here. So all I had to do was push down, pull forward. Then you had these. Just unlock. And then this is where it was plugged in. And then it was also plugged in. And these two 80s over here. Always take like a picture or a video of undoing it. And then you'll always know how to put it back. All right. So let's grab this power supply. And that's here. I'm going to do the same thing. It's still the same screwy thingies in the back. As soon as I find my um, screwy thingy. Uh, lose my head if it wasn't attached. And then we're just going to do this. So we just gotta find the same deal, same lips. Pull forward and, right. and then just gotta see how they're connected. Um, this one's I got big hands, so this is tough for me. I had to put my old man glasses on. So here is the original power supply, and then here's the um the one from the um, the unit that's going to be recycled. So I just made sure that um, all the wattage and everything's the same. So I'm just going to move the old power supply over and take it out of the equation. Just put it out of sight, out of mind. Um, I had to do a little finagling. Um, again, I'm not too worried about, I'll put this stuff back. I'm not too worried about it because it's going to be recycled anyways. Right. Here's my original unit. So I want to make sure that it's, um, I'm not going to put everything back all neat and crazy. I just got to find, uh, let's see here. Do that two for two, and two one. So this is going to go into one of these. In there. 
I'm just putting these back to where I found them. Sitting there and locked in place. Make sure that's there. That's there. Okay. So get my cord. Ooh, if I can reach it. I'm gonna give it a test drive. I'm gonna plug it in. All right, and it went off again. So, so I plugged it in again. It went off again. So let's see if she'll fire up. She's not firing up. So keep in mind as I'm doing this, I don't really know what the issue with my desktop is. Um, so what I did as far as troubleshooting is concerned, so I did take my, my power supply from my desktop and I put it into this unit where I took the other power supply uh, out of. So, and then I did replace the battery to the CMOS battery that is right here. So I also tried a new battery too. So I know all this stuff is working to the fact that I don't necessarily want to touch this with my hand, but um, so I, you'll probably be able to hear it. Nothing wrong with the power supply. Fan is working. So this is where I go, uh oh. <laughs> it's not the power supply, it's not the CMOS battery. Is it the motherboard? Yikes. So I even went to the extent of <clears throat> taking off the, the front and playing around with the, the button. It's just not going to come on. It's not the power supply. Um, another thing you can try is just make sure you unplug everything. and hold down the button for 20, 30 seconds just to get all the juice out of the unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I can tell you right now it's not gonna work because I already tried it. So plug it back in. It's trying to delete the whole unit of, of power and just power cycle it. Um, green light does come on. It's not the power supply. Power supply is fine. It's not any connections. It's, I gotta suck it up as it to being the motherboard. Um, there's really no other troubleshooting I can do. It won't boot up, so I can't do any type of, um, of, uh, hardware or, uh, drive, uh, troubleshooting. My only other, um, outlet is to change the motherboard out. So I have a decision to make, right? Do I get myself a new desktop? Do I want to spend, you know, $1,000, $1,500? Not really. <laughs> um, or do I want to get a, a, a new motherboard, which is a couple hundred bucks. So that's a decision that um, I have to make. And to get to this point, hopefully the, the power supply that I showed you how to replace um, corrected the issue or at least power cycling it through uh, corrected the issue. But uh, unfortunately, in this case, um, I was away for the weekend. I was at my mom's. I stayed there a couple days. There were thunderstorms, uh, lightning storms. Uh, I was a couple towns over. Nothing else. My, it was all on a power strip. The monitor worked fine. Everything else works fine that's on that power strip. So I can't even begin to, um, there was never any sign that there was a problem with the unit. Um, so I really have no recourse but to either replace the motherboard or just replace the computer. Uh, the tech in me wants to replace the motherboard to the fact that, well, it's inexpensive and I actually wanna see if that's that's the underlying um, issue. Do I wanna get a motherboard and then determine that it's something else and spend 200 bucks? Not particularly. Do I wanna spend $1,600 on a new computer? Not particularly. Uh, but these are the options I'm I'm up against. So, gals and guys, I hope this uh, did help you. As always, I I do a lot of these videos without knowing what the what the end game is going to be. Um, but I, I even if there were screw ups, mess ups, I usually just leave. Very rarely do I not post those videos, so you can watch them and 
and kind of get an idea and get a determination. And it might be your power supply, right? It might be a, a bad connection. I went through and unhooked the fans and hooked them back in. Anything that I can unhook and hook back in, I went and had and did. So uh, that's an option for you. Um, so we'll see. I'll either be making a uh, another video after this, either putting in a new motherboard or I'll be putting or I'll be doing another video of opening a new uh, desktop. So those one of the two videos are coming, maybe both. All right, gals and guys, I hope this was helpful in some way. Uh, please subscribe. If you haven't already, the channel is growing, which I appreciate very much. Appreciate y'all. Uh, like if you like the video, please share if someone needs to, to um, swap out a, a power supply. Not overly difficult, as you saw. And uh, hit the bell for updates there. And I appreciate you as always. And I'll catch you later. I'll go count my pennies. <laughs> I'll see if there's some quarters in the couch. And I'll decide uh, what my purchasing is going to be. Uh, and I'll, I'll catch you later.